Taking server B. Broadcasting live from WOUB TV in Athens. This Take is camera two. Watch. Officers in the Athens Police Department may soon be wearing body Taking cameras. Lower. Good evening. I'm Lily Bradley. Thanks for joining us. Advance. A review for body cameras is just one of the department's goals, according to APD's 2017 annual Taking report. Taking Other goals include achieving right, full staffing tag back camera two, the purchase of one and marked a. and one unmarked vehicle. The annual APD reports, including crime statistics from 2008 through 2016, are available online. As for significant events from 2016, the department noted fest right, season as being largely subdued and Halloween as having one of the largest crowds in recent memory. Taking camera two. Get ready to take BO Athens and City Council a. is taking a step to ensure federal cuts won't affect the taking city of BO. Athens. Council Bring members will start creating a resolution at tonight's City Council meeting in support lower, of the Appalachian and Regional B. Commission. In President Trump's proposed budget, funding to the ARC will be eliminated. The commission funds infrastructure and economic two. projects in 420 Appalachian counties, including Athens. But if the program is cut, Councilwoman Chris Fall says these projects are Dink at risk. Sought. There would be no voice Get ready for that. Get back to camera two in area. about 30 seconds. Um, when it comes to trying to get infrastructure development, you know, and, Still about 30 and seconds. so would we have to go and ask, you know, to have a bill specifically put in to 20 build the Trimble Gloucester, you know, sewer system? And that's not that's not even um, a practical thing to be able to do. Ten camera two. The final resolution will be presented at next week's city council Advanced meeting. Two. Ready to take the village of B. Chauncey is in dire need of sanitary sewer repairs, but the necessary changes come with a Taking big cost. B. Now the village is asking ready the court two. to allow them to pay for an emergency repair by using funds designated for its water system. The request to use ready water funds two. comes after previous attempts to get emergency funding from governmental agencies failed. An engineer estimated a total replacement would cost the city upwards of $200,000, while an emergency ready repair would cost the village a little more than $80,000. Ready VO and server A, followed Ohio by Ohio University's server B. annual International Week Taking kicked BO. off today. The International Student Union and eight other OU organizations are hosting events ready all over the sought. campus until Sunday. ISU set more than 100 flags on College ready Green this sought, morning and offered breakfast with international specialties. ISU President Hasim Pashtun says international students can represent their cultures and Americans can learn more about other countries. Take server B. This week is meant to celebrate global diversity on Taking campus. Server B. I think uh, every international bring week up, is special because every lower. year when we are celebrating something is going on around the world. Uh, there's always Losing something lower. breaking news on campus or take around Ali the world. Lower. But I think this is the time, uh, this is left. events like International Week, uh, where we get together, uh, we unite and we celebrate the good times and we, we support each other in hard times. I attended uh, to Taking celebrate Ali the lower. diversity because here we are right, many about 20 seconds left. nationalities and it's our Losing time lower. to set ourselves together to and uh, have a, a nice conversation and uh, uh, like exchange uh, our traditions, enjoy the international food, and enjoy the international fair next week on Saturday. Take camera two. The highlight Dirty of the week is usually the street fair on Saturday, where international students march with their flags in a parade over Ready Court Street. And you can find the event schedule three. on the internet or Facebook page of ISU. Taking weather animation. And is off to camera three. Good evening and welcome to the News Watch Weather Bring Center. I'm Adriana Slower. Davies. And this past weekend in Athens was kind of a slow start. Friday we Losing saw those Adriana's chilly lower. temperatures, cloudy skies into Saturday. The sun came back, which was pretty exciting. I know I got a little bit sunburnt this weekend, but I'm not complaining about that. As for right now in Athens, 81 degrees uh, under those clear skies. So do keep in mind, Ready we are about 30 degrees B, above average for this time two. of the year. We're, the average for today was right around 56, and we are at 81 right now. And I know we hit our high right around 84 today. Winds from the south-southwest at 10 miles an hour. 40 seconds left we do weather. have very low relative humidity for today, so do keep that in mind if for some reason you are burning leaves, grass, trees, sticks, anything like that, the low relative humidity will spread fires faster. As for right now around the region, 86 down in Ironton as our high, 80 up in Newark, and 78 over in Columbus. 
Our overnight lows for the area, 56 down in Athens, 53 over in Ironton, and 60 as our regional high up in Columbus. As for our overnight hour by hour, we'll see 74 by 8 p.m., 61 by midnight, and by 4 a.m., we'll see 57. So we will see a little bit of a cool off when the clouds start to roll in later on tonight. Now over to you, Lily. Thanks, server B. Dissolved camera two. Thanks, Adriana. A surprising turn of events in an Ohio courthouse this morning. Robert Seaman is charged with the deaths of three people in a house fire. After hearing Monday morning in Youngstown, Seaman was being led from the courthouse back to jail when he darted from deputies and jumped over the balcony. He fell four floors to his death in the courthouse rotunda. Seaman was to stand trial right for killing a 10-year-old girl and her grandparents in a house fire in 2015. One, OTS, that fire happened just hours before Seaman was to go on trial for raping the girl. Taking camera one. A Wright State University basketball to to player two. is in serious condition today after an accident at a Miami University party. Media reports say freshman Ryan Custer was injured when he dove into a shallow makeshift pool. He was found face down in about six inches of water. Custer was last reported in critical condition at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Take number two. All right, Governor Brady, John Kasich met with Cincinnati law enforcement and community leaders this afternoon to discuss community police relations Take in the city. The discussion comes as more right, than 500 Ohio police with, agencies um, have e. or will soon adopt state standards for police departments on use of deadly force, body cameras, and other issues. The board Ready began after a series of fatal police shootings e. in Ohio, including the 2014 death of 12-year-old Tamir Rice in Cleveland. Take camera two. Yet another deadly shooting in San Bernardino, Taking California, this time at an elementary school. We'll give you the latest details on the four victims. Coming up Boost after the break. E. Fade to black at the button. Bring up animation. Dissolve to camera three. Welcome back, Megan I'm Megan Stamper. March means there's no lack of exciting basketball and this lower. year's NCAA tournament to <laughs> has lived up to expectations. Last night, we got to see another classic between two storied programs, North Carolina Take and VO. Kentucky. Bring the two lower. teams traded the lead all game, and it looked like North Carolina had it in the bag towards the end. They finished on a 16-9 run, but right, Malik lower. Monk from Kentucky the tied VO. the game with a contested shot with 7.2 seconds left, and when North Carolina got the ball back, Luke May hit a jumper with .3 seconds to go in the game to give them the 75-73 win. To wipe VO. Next up for the Tar Heels, they faced the Oregon Ducks in the Final Four, who were the champions from the Midwest Wiping region. VO. And one of Ohio University's own basketball players is trying to take his game to the next level. Redshirt Jerron Simmons, uh, Redshirt Junior Jerron Simmons, Losing announced lower. today that he right, plans to, to declare three, for the 2017 Sot. NBA draft. Simmons is not hiring an agent so that he can keep his eligibility to return to Ohio next season. If he is selected, he can participate in the NBA draft combine from May 9th through the 12th. Simmons started all 66 games during his time for the Bobcats, and his 475 career assists are the fourth most in Ohio history. The NBA draft is going to be held on June 22nd. Taking camera three. An Ohio softball opened MAC play this weekend on a high note with a sweep against Toledo at home. WUB reporter Taylor Nemo was there to capture all Taking the pack. action. Bring up lower. And yeah, nice. Ohio University softball began MAC play Losing on a high lower. note against Toledo Minute this past 30 weekend. left in pack. Friday night started the series off with a 10 to 1 victory. The team took advantage ready to, of Toledo's ready to bring mistakes up lower and capitalized Jody on Hermane. all opportunities. Hermanic. Coach Jody Hermanek says she appreciates her team's aggressive play. Bring you up know, lower we, for Jody. We take our bats seriously. They're personal, you know, so we really want to win every single one. And, Losing and the base lower running for was Jody. Um, very good tonight. Minute left in pack. Uh, aggressive move by Kenzie Brunswick, but hey, I'll take it. I'd rather have them be aggressive than not. And um, at the end of the day, Minute left I'll pat her on the back. Star pitcher Savannah Joe Dorsey dominated, allowing Toledo only one run in the five innings. She kept her composure after allowing Toledo's leadoff batter Chandler Rice a shot to center field. These girls, the hitters, Taking they deserve for that Joe win Dorsey. because they they were going out there attacking and they deserve the run roll. So I wanted to close it Losing out. Losing lower for Joe Dorsey. 
offensive star of the game, Morgan Gino, delivered 30 four seconds runs. left in pack. She says that once they get the momentum going, there is no slowing down. Taking lower um, for Morgan Gino. Stop. It's like, I like to use the term foot on the gas, and it, we just don't stop. There's no, like, letting Losing up lower a little for Morgan bit because head. It's, let's just get it Tw done, put on the gas, don't stop. Get ready to and tag they did back not stop three. as they continued their dominance in their doubleheader on Saturday as they finished 8-7 to seven and 3-2 to two respectively. For Newswatch at Noon, I'm Taylor Take camera three. Up next for Ohio softball, they travel to Kalamazoo, Michigan to face the Western Michigan Broncos. First pitch Friday is at 3 p.m., followed by a doubleheader on Saturday that begins at 1. All right, take VO. I'm Megan Stamper, and that's it for sports. Back to you, Justin. Taking VO. All right, thanks, Megan. New Jersey Senator lower. Cory Booker may have just started a romance with Mindy Kaling. Booker playfully tweeted the actress Thursday Losing after her lower. character on the show, right, The Mindy to to Project, two gave a Chroma. shout out to the Booker, but shared her apparent negative view of Newark in a recent Mike. episode. Both gushed over each other. And Booker asked Kaling to join him for a dinner in Newark, who, get this, said yes. Booker even told Kaling that he would send a car to pick her up. Now let's go over to Ethan for one last look at the Take weather. Chroma. Well, thank you, Justin. Temperatures right, uh, for overnight lows tonight will be around 55 degrees. I have those thunderstorms moving in, but they're beginning to weaken as we're speaking right now. So mostly rain for most part of the evening, and it'll begin to pick up, especially after midnight. Those winds will be out of the south at zero to five miles per hour. 30 seconds and if any weather. storms do move in, those winds will begin to pick up to just slightly, but nothing more than 30 miles per hour. The lightning. And then for tomorrow, I have rain in the morning, but overall mostly cloudy skies, and those showers should be ending before the noon hours. And those winds will begin to shift from the north and northwest at five to 10 miles per hour. And the seven-day forecast does show those temperatures Dissolving going to stay in the area. Ready to go and to camera only one. chance of rain is on Thursday and Friday. Ram camera one, k 2 hd 7 All right, thanks, Ethan. That does it for our broadcast this evening. Thanks for watching. I'm Justin Holbrock. Stay tuned for the PBS News Hour coming up next. And remember, you can find the latest news anytime at woub.org. Have a great night.